Hello, I'm Will Dalton with your latest Premier League headlines. David Moyes says Manchester United's mounting injury list will not affect his approach to the club's business during the transfer window. And so I wonder, can anybody in the studio tell me what the record attendance was last week? Oh, Guys, blimey, any takers? Now you're testing us. Uh, Got any idea? 27,500. Well, as good I test. said, capacity was 28,000. Last week, it was 28,016. Now, I don't exactly oh, know where the 16 sat. Maybe on somebody's <laughs> laps, maybe up on the roof. I don't really know. Um, so what else can we show you this morning? Oh, there goes one of the sprinklers. All right, got to move quickly. Um, I don't want to get wet before the match. So anyway, this is the um, home dugout. This is where Malky Mackay will be directing the troops from today. We'll go down the tunnel now, just give you a little brief insight. This is actually usually locked down, but um, Alison, I used some of my Irish charm this morning on the press officers. So Jamie has kindly allowed us to come in here this morning. The charity balls of 2009 and 2010 raised nearly one million pounds for the foundation. And Didier Drogba will be hoping the charity ball of 2012 will raise even more money for his work in Africa. Will Dalton at the Dorchester Hotel for Premier League News. Leaving Arsenal and going to their North London rivals Spurs. A couple of possible outs for them. They spent big, of course, in the summer. 30 million on this man, Eric Lamea, hasn't proved a great move for club or player. And just very quickly, um, you also had an interview with John Michel Obi. A top line from that? Yeah, basically uh, very relaxed in great form, loving having Jose Mourinho back. And he says Chelsea can only get better from here. Today he also denied claims that he jetted off to Paris in the aftermath of the loss to West Ham. He said Chairman Hugh Jenkins knew he had a personal matter to attend to and was, was OK with it. That's all for now. Join us next time on Premier League News. Hi, I'm Will Dalton and this is GW News. The Honda Classic kicks off the Florida Swing later today with many of the world's best golfers in attendance. World number one Tiger Woods says this is where the road to the Masters begins. Here are your headlines this Thursday evening from Stamford Bridge. UEFA have moved Chelsea's Europa League tie with Ruben Kazan to the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. There are lots to get through on a packed show tonight as we count down to the season's first opportunity for silverware, the Community Shield on Sunday. Good luck to Petter in those ties. And while many of the squad are off representing their countries, Stamford Bridge will be buzzing next Monday as we're hosting some international action of our own. Well, we've all seen the Gold Cup, the Grand National and the Derby. But the race everybody wants to see is right here at the Oval as Stamford the Lion leads a team from South London in the first ever Surrey Mascot Derby. Come on, Stamford! Well, Stamford joins me now just after the finish of the Mascot Derby. Team football lost and he's a bit upset. Don't worry, Stamford. There's always next year. For this effort, leveled the overall score to give Europe a real chance of defending the Ryder Cup. Good line, good grief, he's finished 2 3. Will Dalton, ITV News. Hello and welcome to Headlines. Today's top stories are. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, a paper owned by Murdoch, the 80-year-old said he would investigate every charge of improper conduct. And joining me today in studio is Hal Austin, senior editor for the Financial Times Group. Hal has been an editor of the Financial Advisor for over 10 years. Before that, he worked for a number of national newspapers and has also worked as news and current affairs producer for BBC Local Radio. Hal, thanks for joining me in studio this Thanks morning. for having me. We'll begin with News Corp and the story that's been dominating the...